it. So guys, today's episode is another banger, another just crazy finds. We find almost 30 Harley Davidson items at one thrift store. We find Yeezys, we find a bunch of dope stuff, another 10 minute video of just nothing but thrift store finds. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Like I said, I'm still trying to catch up. I'm still trying to do it. I have about four episodes right now ready to go. And then I keep making, you know, I, I, like today I just got back from the thrift store and I just, you know, uploaded a bunch of stuff. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Remember, check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. Yesterday I did a flash sale of 20 items. Just posted 20 items and literally all 20 of them sold out within 20 minutes. So I appreciate you guys. I'm trying to get stuff listed. I have a bunch of grails, a bunch of heat, a bunch of good stuff. So I hope you guys do check out the link down below or just follow me on Instagram at DITR954. Whatever you guys see, I, or like whatever I get, I always put on my Instagram so they always get first dibs. Uh, I thrifted a Shallow How t-shirt the other day. I ended up selling it for $100 off Instagram within a couple minutes of me posting it. So just stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Let's get it, guys. A couple finds. I got this bootleg Gucci hoodie. I don't know if this is authentic or not. I'll probably end up keeping it for myself just as a black shirt. But we have this Burberry London little dress shirt, pocket shirt with the embroidery right there. I don't know this brand, I gotta look it up, but being human, I just like the design of it. I being human. Super sick, crazy, long gong Celtics. Little three fourth sleeve, Boston Celtics, all over print. Really nice. Wish this was a bigger size. We have this Harley Davidson 2012 Cape Cod. This graphic on it is so sick. We have another Jesus shirt. Exercise your faith with Jesus. Uh, on the back it says Kendall Pioneers. Super crazy. This is my first time finding this one. Long sleeve polo sport vintage little polo bear. Sick big logo Tommy jeans. Little front hit. Harley Davidson little patch right there. The crew neck. And last but not least, we did find these Dolce Cabana like wax denim in like this green colorway. A little Dolce Cabana hit. So sadly, we didn't get too many items, but we got some good items. You know, that Polo Sport long sleeve. Sadly, Polo isn't as hyped as it was. Back in the day, that was probably a $120 t-shirt. I'll probably list it for 80, take a $60 offer. Uh, that long gone double-sided sport, uh, like baseball, three four sleeves, whatever you want to call it. We'll probably get another 60 to $80. Probably let's see for 100, take about $80. Um, I'm currently going to. Uh, sorry, I'm getting messages. I'm currently going to a designer sale, Y3 designer sale. I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it in this video or if I'm gonna make a separate video, but basically everything is 80% off. Uh, jackets, hoodies, jackets are selling for $90. Uh, hats are selling for like $35. Everything is crazy cheap. So I'm headed there now. It is currently 9 a.m. They open at 10 a.m. I'm hoping there's not a huge line. Hoping we can get some good stuff. Um, it should last all week, but obviously the good stuff is gonna sell out today. There's one jacket in particular that I want. It is a red and white and black jacket. as Y3 branding. Retail on it is $600 and I believe they're selling it for $90. They only have four posted, so I'm hoping I can quickly get in and get that. Um, so we'll see, but I am pulling up, and uh, yeah, let's get it, guys. <laughs> it's recording. Okay, so do you want to do an intro? I already did the intro in the car. <laughs> That's it. What's in the short line? Yeah. <laughs> So this guy's buying at least $10,000 plus of Y3 inventory. Just insane stuff. I only got to wear I don't even want to show it off. It's fine. I'm not making a video for today. What a waste. This is what it is. 
Well guys, we struck gold today and most of this, like 90% is Harley Davidson stuff. Someone just dropped it off, but look at the color fades on it, you know, like this nice faded gray. But let's just run it through. I got this for myself, I got the Rothko camo. Next we have this vintage Wilson crew neck, just love the color, big print, has a little W on the front. And then this kind of works into the Harley Davidson, so we'll start off with this like uh, long sleeve. So it's like a corduroy long sleeve button down with a little Harley Davidson patch right there. We did find this Burberry London button down in like the blue and black colorway. Another Harley Davidson, the little embroidered on the back. We found two of these like light works, just the HD Harley Davidson, then like a white colorway. Gray one with a little one on the back. Another one, literally like someone just dropped off all their Bike Week shirt and Harley Davidson. So we found this little Fallen Heroes. Found this Mountain shirt. Ghost Rider. Sapper proudly served. 2001 Bike Week. I'm just not going to even say it anymore because there's going to be so many Harley Davidson. I'm just going to kind of flip through and show you guys all of them. All different colors, all different fades. Pocket tees, non-pocket tees. Look at the fit. This fade is so nice on this one. Oh man, got to hang it up. Another pocket tee, Pensacola. Non-pocket tee. Literally just so many and I'm paying a dollar a piece for every single one of these Daytona bike week Harley 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 Daytona bike week Harley bike week bike week then I found some Levi's, like perfectly distressed on the top, like a white wash champion, and then a pair of uh, Zane Robe denim joggers. Guys, we hit big. Now granted, they could have been 80s, they could have been 90s, they're early 2000s, even later 2000s, I saw some 2010s, but the fades on them is so nice, and guys, we paid $46 for everything I showed you. So in total, we got 25 Harley Davidson mixed with some Bike Week t-shirts. Then we got like seven button-down Harley Davidson like dress shirts, I guess you could say. Um, then we got two pairs of jeans and a pair of gym shorts. So all that for $46, that's crazy. I'll easily sell one of those Harley Davidson t-shirts for $40 by itself. Um, and there's some good ones. I am gonna post a huge uh, picture, like throw, like haul on my Instagram. So follow me at DITR954. They are gonna get first dibs. So by the time you guys are seeing this, it may even be sold. I have no idea. But we are headed to the second store. Let's see if uh, there's some Harley sitting there. Um, now granted, what I imagine is they just kind of get bags and then they hang up the bag. So that's why my racks or the new racks that came out had nothing but Harley. So maybe it got split up. Maybe the new racks over here has some Harley, but we're gonna see, you know? So uh, let's head to that store and see if we get lucky again. So not sure if I'm gonna grab everything, but we have this Elton John 2012 tour shirt. Elton John big face. We found this Patagonia shirt, XO, just the Patagonia logo. Vintage Quicksilver, made in the USA. Quicksilver tag, probably gonna leave that though. Did find a Levi's jacket, Big E. Wait, is Big E the expensive one or is Small E the expensive one? I don't know, but we just found a Levi's jacket. I think it's Small E that's worth something, not Big E. I don't know, I have to look it up. I always get confused if it's Big E or if it's Small E, but that is a Big E Levi's jacket. Then we did find a Nike Tech fleece jacket as well. Really nice colorway, blue colorway. Well, shoes just came out. We have these infrared sixes. Then we have the chrome lows. We also found a penny board and we also found a pair of Yeezys. I don't know if they're real. I'm gonna pay $20 on them. Um, they're size seven, seven and a half, I think. So I have to do research, but for $20, I'll take the gamble. Uh, and if not, whatever, I'm out 20 bucks. 
So these are the Yeezys that we picked up today. We paid $10 instead of $20. I ended up getting half off. Uh, I ended up selling them for $100 shipped. I have no idea if they're authentic, um, but $90 profit, I'll take it. If they are authentic, then whatever, we'll give someone a steal. And if they're not authentic, then I'll give the guy his money back. But we ended up selling them for $100 shipped, so they're about to go off to its new owner. I'm packing them up as we speak.